as little as this package is i have been waiting for it for about two weeks now now i finally just get to go ahead and try it out so one day i was just scrolling 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 on tiktok and i come to a video about these things right here on the box is called gel nail and the website the actual website is called uv nails so at first glance looking at the video i'm thinking this is like one of those little nail stickers that you put on your nails and then you can file off the edges and then boom you just have like a whole nail design in like two seconds well y'all this is a little better than that you can actually make a whole nail out of these things i honestly forgot what color i ordered Oh, it has like a slight shimmer to it. It's almost given pearl, almost. We're gonna try it out and see if it actually works and if it's durable. That's really what I wanted to test out. But supposedly you put them on your nail and then you kind of form them into a longer nail. And I guess you can make them however long you want to make them. Now this sounds a little too good to be true, which is why I want to try it out. But first, before I get too carried away, let's go ahead and get our post notification shout outs right on out the way. So these are the first three people who are on my last video. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed and for being the first three people to comment. And if you would like a shout out just like these three people here, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified each and every time I post and you can possibly be one of the first three people to comment. First, I am ashy. Y'all see that ash? Look at that. Yeah. Like whenever I forget to put lotion on my hands before content, just put three drops of cuticle oil. Moisturize that ashy skin and we good to go. Now let's get it to it. I'm actually gonna use exactly what they provided in the kit to prep. So the cuticle pusher, the wooden cuticle pusher and the nail file came in this little box. And I am just going to go ahead and remove the shine from my natural nail with the new file. Okay, let's go ahead and do the rest. I really wanna just hurry up and get get straight to these little tabs, putting these little things on my nails. Cause I really wanna see how this works. I've never seen anything like this. Maybe I'm late to the party or maybe not, I don't know. But this is my first time seeing something like this on social media and yeah. So let's go ahead and push back our cuticles. Get those cuticles back. So this is the only thing that is not in the pack. So this is Swipe from Young Nails. It basically dehydrates your nail plate. You can use alcohol instead if you don't have Swipe. But look at these cute little lint wipes that I got from Shein, they're heart shaped. As soon as I saw them, I knew I had to get them. <laughs> okay, so you see how the nail is nice and ashy? That means they are dried out, but that's good. But first, let me read the direction. So it says smooth out your nails by using the nail file. We already did that. Not really smooth out, but you wanna buff them out. And then clean the nails with an alcohol pad. But do they provide an alcohol pad? No. So step two, already done. Step three, choose the right size and peel off the clear protective film. Okay, let's do that. Let's start with the thumb. It's always good to start with the thumb. Let's, how can I really tell if this is the right size? Let me see. Peel that off. Before I get too ahead of myself, I'm gonna get out my Melody Susie. And I'm gonna use this to flash cure. And now whenever I'm ready, so let me just go ahead and set that up real nice. I'm guessing just take it off of the little film. I'm gonna place the smaller little part, the smaller end over up here by the cuticle area. And it's like a sticker almost. So it sticks right on there and I'm gonna use I'll follow directions and use this to kind of lay it flat down. Well, I think I could have went bigger. Maybe I need a bigger size. Okay, let's put this back and let's go a little bigger. We're gonna go with this one. You can't really tell until you take it off. Like what's the perfect size? Just whatever, okay. So just like a little sticker, I'm just going to stick it 
on there and that should work a little better because you really want it to fit from side wall to side wall. Keep messing up, y'all. Okay, I think that's good, I think that's good. So let's lay it flat, just like that. And then I'm going to kind of work out all of those little bubbles. It looks like a platypus right now, but we're gonna make it better in a minute. I want the nail to be a little longer. I swear on everything the video that i saw she just cured it with the nail already being kind of long she she cured it before she filed it off okay so y'all see what i'm doing i'm pinching it and i'm gonna tap the cut on the uv nail lamp let's go ahead and bite the bullet let's do it i'm going to cure it's curing It's still a little flimsy. I thought the whole thing was gonna kind of harden. It did stiffen a little bit, but it's still like, see, it did get stiff, but it's still wobbly. And I don't like the shape. So we're gonna cut this down. Might, wow. Might, <laughs> That was obnoxious. Okay. I just want just a little shorty, just, that short, literally. That's all I want. It's hard. Yeah, it's still wobbling a little bit. Let me do it so y'all can see. But for the most part, it is shapeable. And it's not flapping all over the place. So this might can work. But I don't know, you definitely can't have like a super long nail with this. So at this point, if I can give my honest review on these, just by putting two on, I don't like them. So as you can see, I put the pointer on off camera and now we're doing the tap test. So the tap test checks out, but it just checks out right now. I don't feel like these are durable enough to last me two weeks, if even two weeks. I say this because when I tap them on the table, they feel as if I had cardstock paper on my fingers, on my nails. And cardstock paper is sturdy. It's sturdy paper, but how long is it going to be sturdy? That's the real question. And, and that's how I feel about these nails. <laughs> and then when I turn it to the side, it kind of goes up word a little bit towards the free edge and i really do not like that look which is another reason why i'm going to give this a thumbs down but i do like these for like a temporary solution type of thing but if you're going to wear these for more than two to three days i would say no don't do it so my opinion would be to just file them down right at your natural nail don't try to extend it longer than your natural nail and wear it like that like they advertise it this way you can get longer wear out of them to each his own, I guess. So I'm going to take these off and then we're going to do something else so this video doesn't go to waste. They seem like they're pretty easy to take off. So I am just going to drop some cuticle oil on there so it can kind of get in between the cracks. I have some tweezers here and I am just going to go in between and it slips right in there. Look at that. But it is hard. That would not be so easy to do without the cuticle oil. So don't try this without rubbing some cuticle oil in there, but it comes right off. Super easy, look at that. Yay. I still need something to do with my nails. So I bought these from Target. So this is just your regular, regular stick on manicure pieces. These were $10. Let's see how many you get. And you get two sets instead of just one. Look at that, for $10. And I decided to get this little, um, what is this called? Like a tortoise shell print. These are your regular ones where you just put it on the nail and file it down and then you're good to go. You don't need to do anything else. But I do wanna add some extra length. So of course we're gonna go with stiletto because I already got stiletto on this nail. And even though the two designs aren't gonna match, I still want at least the shape to match. So yeah, prep in one, one coat. So just one little coat of the prep in one. And this is from Cart, by the way, in Cure. 
I really do not have much prepping one left. This is what I usually use as the um, gel glue to adhere my tips, but like I said, I don't have much, I need more. So I'm gonna use this nail tip glue that I got from Amazon. And honestly, I think I favor the tube over the brush on because I always get the right amount every time with the tube. I just put a few, put a few dots on the edge and sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, put one dot in the middle of all of those. Boom, and then press it down from the cuticle area. And look at that, we got just enough glue. Go ahead and cure that. Okay, what exactly comes with this? Yes, we're gonna need this. This is what I was looking for. Cool. I never put these on a file snail before, so this is gonna be interesting. Since this is just a sticker, no UV light should be involved with this one. Alright, let's just lay that flat and work our way to the edge. As I'm rubbing it, I'm kind of messing it up. So I hope that doesn't, like it's not permanent. Let's slim this right on out. Y'all see those marks? Yikes. This is what I get for trying new things. But you gotta try new things every now and again, I guess. Okay, let's really get push these cuticles down because we need that to be neat. Almost there. And then, so I'm gonna take the file that they gave me and we're just gonna file off that excess. It should be pretty easy. Get all of it off, all of that, yeah. Oh, we're getting somewhere with this. The quickest design I ever done. And just rip it right on off. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we got a little piece on the side. What we're gonna do with that? Let's see if this will do it. Oh, it did it. Look at that. That's all we needed right there to get that. We can just pick it on out. Oof. I still feel like we can do something else with this. So I kind of want to, uh, just so we can add some more stuff. Let's just buff it out up top. It won't hurt, it won't hurt. I really just want to try a Frenchie look just to see how it would turn out black gel <gasps> that could have been super cute just like that doing the outline of the fringe we keep it pushing anyways i'm gonna fill this in with the black but with the other nails i might just do the French outline, cause that was kind of cute. So this is kind of cute also. Let's put some gloss on it. And somebody needs more gloss. Mm -hmm. 
The only thing that's getting me is the sides, like right here keeps buckling up and it will not lay flat for nothing. I'm gonna do the outline of the Frenchie instead on the two middle fingers. Let's just hope and pray that I don't mess up. down and around and oh, I think we got it I think we got a winner y'all yeah, I think we got it I think that's okay let's come down here and just hit a quick one and a quick two, look how it's buckling right there, but I'm gonna just kind of glide over it. And just go along the sides. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. We can top coat and we're done. Okay, so this is how everything is looking and I like it, but then I don't just because it's buckling. Y'all see where it's kind of buckling on the sides a little bit. And I do try to push it down so it can stick back down, but then it, it'll gradually just buckle back up. But at the same time, I did not buff before I put these stickers on the cover tips. So that could be the reason why, who knows. But other than that, I like this look way better than the first little UV nail thingy my bobbers that i tried to put on my nails before i feel like those are best when you just file them off right at your natural nail like i said before instead of trying to extend them and make them longer and now you gotta shape them and do all this other stuff y'all it was just too much for me which is why i would rather not apply them the way that they have them advertised but i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me playing around with some nail stickers thank you so much for watching if you watched this far in my very next video i will be unboxing some btr box nail kits so make sure you turn on your post notifications so you're notified when i post that video it should go up this weekend and with that i will see you guys in my very next video